All right, it's Friday. Okay, so every Friday I'm gonna give out a little crypto trading tips and uh, what else I can give out here <laughs> besides the uh, Bitcoin scalping strategy. We've seen a lot of words going on for Bitcoin. Bitcoin did a major breakout uh, for today, especially for Bitcoin, Dash, Ethereum, every single crypto that I've seen so far. Uh, major breakout. Uh, just doing a a quick buy right here, just scalping it. So you can see that the best time to buy was right down here, right, right down here at fifty nine, fifty nine four six. And you can clearly see at fifty nine, right, right here. So I have my crosshairs right here. You can see that best time to buy it was right here you can see that most important thing my blue dotted line is not the MACD this, all I have is just a stochastic that's all I have you can clearly see the settings 575 close close exponential 2080 and notice what I'm showing you is the blue dotted line, which is your signal. All right, so I'm going to go back here. Is your signal. Okay. And I have it set at four. Now, I'm going to show you guys why the signal. I'm going to take my main line and make it a one pixel. By looking at the signal. Let me take off my. Take off these crosshairs. By looking at the signal. It's a better confirmation to buy and sell versus off the main line. That's just what I've seen so far. And so you can clearly see that the candlestick structure is trying to push above and create an uptrend above the 10 day moving average on the blue line up here on the main window. But you can clear, but what you see right now is that it's struggling, it's struggling to break above uh, 6100 6134 it's on the 15 minute chart so if you were to go to the four hour okay you can see that this blue line is starting to curve to go back up so if you're swinging it you can swing it all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and swing it for 6300 Reason being is because that blue line, that blue 10 day moving average, the 10 day simple moving average, most of the time when it when it when it breaks out going down a downtrend for this for so long, it'll try to retrace back up. And then it'll end up just hitting it'll end up hitting right here. And then and then and then go straight back down from here like bouncing off like bouncing off the uh 10 day moving average now if you have the bollinger bands it's a little more precise so i'm gonna add this here it's all default okay you can clearly see by using the bollinger bands you can clearly see it broke out one, two, three, four, five times, right? And then this uh, bull candle came right up. Now we're on the second bull candle, looking for it to come back up. Okay, and you can clearly see the crossover right here, where the blue line is a 10-day moving average crossing the 20-day, which is your middle middle band. Okay, so it's a strong crossover. We are still looking for a strong downtrend. Because I already break the six thousand dollar price, I'm looking for fifty five hundred and five thousand. Once it breaks five thousand, I'm looking for that forty seven hundred, forty eight hundred uh, monthly chart. Uh, is it easier on the monthly chart or the weekly chart for that support price to break through? And then we're looking for four thousand long term. So overall, we are following a long term downtrend from the way I see it. Clear clear confirmation of a crossover from the 10 day in the middle band here and it's just trying to retrace back up and 
like I said, I'd be looking at TP taking profit at 6300 or 6200 just to be on the safe side, depending, depending on how high this uh, four-hour oscillator goes up to. And so there you guys have it. It's just a quick video uh, using the stochastic. Like I said, I like the signal line because it's a lot more better confirmation than the main line. And you can clearly see I have 575. So, there you guys have it.